Hello, Taurus. Welcome to Dove and Serpent Tarot. My name is Paul. If Taurus is your sun, moon, or rising sign, this is your tarot card reading. Please hit the like button, leave a comment. Consider subscribing to the channel, especially if this reading resonates with you. It is totally free. It does not cost you anything. If there is anything you would like me to pray over or meditate upon or send positive energy toward, please let me know. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so try to be open and receptive to whatever may come through during our time together. I am merely the messenger, and I ask you to connect directly with each of these cards and use your own intuition to take you beyond the details that I might provide. And remember, Taurus, that the most important part of any tarot reading is you. And a four of swords, I feel like you've been having some tension lately. I feel like you've been stressed out about something. Uh, it, are you in some sort of a conflict with somebody? Is there some sort of a, there's some sort of a, a dispute or a discussion that's not, hasn't been going well, and we are really in need of some rest. We really need this to be resolved, right? Let's see what's going on here. Um, let's put that into some context. I feel like you're getting the resolution that you need. I feel like whatever this, whatever this dispute is, is going to be resolved. But let's, let's put some more cards out, see what we've got. Okay, we've got the devil energy. Um, the devil energy, it's kind of this lone energy. So it might really be this, um, it might be a dispute about which direction to go next. Yeah, let's see what else we've got. Six of Pentacles, yes. This is, it has something to do with this business or this, this group effort, okay? It might be business, might be financial, it might be your community, neighborhood, might be your family, friends, but there's a group thing here. And the, the goat's kind of the one that wanders off from the group and goes by itself, right? Five of Cups, yeah, there's something that is, a, there's a five, there's some sort of dispute, turbulence, turmoil that needs resolution, needs to become a four. What we really want is the six, right? That's what's underneath us here. But we've got that emperor energy, okay? And we've got a nine. Maybe the nine of swords is really indicating that if we try to split from this group and go our own way, we're not going to be happy about that decision. So what we've got to do is find a way to resolve it. We want this vertical path. Right? We want to ascend. We want to rise above. We don't just want to go sideways. Three of Cups. Pro oh, Queen of Pentacles. Two of Wands. And Prince of Wands. Interesting with the court cards here. Interesting with the court cards here. This is looking at the past. This is pulling the wisdom out of the past. And this is the present. The present day. Right? The time right now. It's time to build. Not time to, to tear down. And the tearing down might be what we do here and here, especially with these two. These two are ready to tear something down. And we're looking for harmony. We look, we're looking for success. We're looking for this building up of something. Okay. Now, Spirit's telling me that you recently broke maybe your glasses? I feel like there's something kind of essential to you that broke. So it feels, like, uh, it feels like glasses or something, or maybe it has something to do with, it, it feels like something you wear on your face, right? I'm thinking glasses, obviously. Um, but I feel like something, something just kind of broke, and maybe there's a metaphor there too, right? Maybe we're not seeing things for, for what they really are right now because we're kind, of, we're kind of clouded in this energy here. Okay, we are disappointed, we are disgruntled, we are just, we're out of harmony with things. There's just, this group is not, not acting like a group. This family is not acting like a family. And we're kind of thinking, well, I'm just going to go, uh, I'm going to take my ball and go home. Um, that's not going to make you happier, right? It feels like this is really what you want to do. This is what the impulse is. This is what the devil's tempting you to do, right? And that's just to kind of... Um, to express all of your negative emotions and go, go your own way with a lot of not nice words kind of trailing behind you, okay? But that's not what really is going to matter to you. That's not going to make you happy. We understand that feeling, though, for sure. Uh, 
What is going to make you happy is the long-term outcome here that you desire. What is your ultimate goal? Well, I feel part of that goal is this kind of harmony and success. This is a business. This is an effort. This is a group situation that really you want it to work, right? Obviously, why else would you be here? You want the six of pentacles. You want the material success. Now, it doesn't have to mean money. It doesn't have to mean a job or a career. Maybe you're retired. Maybe this is something else that you're involved with. But there is a group here. And a group is, what, three or more people, right? Um, there is, uh, there's this desire and this will and this wish for things to be successful, for everybody to win, everybody to have this, uh, prosperity and abundance. Okay. But there's some sort of dysfunction in this group right now. This is a family that just can't get along. This is a department at work that just can't seem to get on the same page. This is a bunch of people in the kitchen trying to run a restaurant. Everyone's got their own ideas. Everyone's doing their own thing. Okay, uh, well, it could be a, a band. You could be in a, in a musical ensemble, and you're really thinking about going solo here. Okay, um, but you you need to kind of you need to calm down that energy. There's that four of swords. We need to have a relief. Uh, we need to have some sort of a reprieve from this, so we can really figure out what we want to do. We want to go. Up. We want to ascend. We want to improve. We want to get better. We want to go up, up, up. We don't want to go sideways, which this is, things are going sideways enough. We don't need to take them even further sideways. All right. Um, let's select the mystery card. This is the bonus card, confirmation card. It's one random card from the Smith Waite Tarot. And this is just going to go over here. We're going to put Tiny Bob Ross right there on top. Happy little Bob. We're not going to look at that card until the very end, but it will tie everything together and it will give us the confirmation that we need at the end of the reading. If at any point during this reading, Taurus, you feel like you know what that card is, I want you to put your prediction down in the comments. All right, we're going to do it together. We're going to make it a group exercise and in intuition. Now, the end card here, the builder. This is that fixed earth energy, the Prince of Pentacles. This is your power card. But this isn't like the Hierophant, right? The Hierophant is your power card. This is your power in action. This is you, Taurus, doing what you do best. You're stubborn. Yeah, you're committed, though. You show up every day. And your stubbornness doesn't have to turn into this kind of... Um, Maybe this kind of pride where you're just going to wander off on your own and say F you to everybody else. Maybe your stubbornness, it says, I'm not going to quit in this situation. I'm going to make it work. You're going to perhaps, um, you're going to, the emperor up here is, is it's, a, it's difficult because you want to be the leader. You want, and maybe you are, maybe you are the one in charge, Right. Maybe you're the band leader. Maybe you're the head of the department, the manager, supervisor. Maybe you're the head of the family. Um, you have to be the leader by not trying to lead. Okay? And this is the problem because we, we put too much effort into this. You don't want to be a stubborn leader. You want to be kind of a servant leader. And this is the hard part, is allowing everybody to kind of to have their voice, have their opinion. How do we make everybody feel like they're being heard? Okay, well, maybe the Four of Swords um, can help us because this card is really about showing up, shutting your mouth and listening, acknowledging others' opinions, and not jumping to conclusions. It's really, the I mean, the Four of Swords is, is really about being a good listener, you know, making other people feel heard. And I think that's the mark of a very good leader. We're not just going to storm off and say, well, I'm done with all of you. You know, you're here, you're committed to this thing, whatever this is, a band, a company, a restaurant, you know, the neighborhood, the uh, homeowners association, I don't know, a church, temple, lodge, order. You're committed to this. And uh, I think that you're Your leadership is what is needed in this situation, okay? 
and I know it's kind of the, something, I don't know what happened here with the five of cups, but there are, um, there are issues within the group. Okay. Everybody, and, and maybe this is just people have hurt feelings. People are taking things personally. People feel like they're not being heard. This is just kind of like nobody's really happy with the way things are going. I don't think you're happy with the way things are going. And Spirit is showing me the, the something on the face that's, that's broken. Um, it feels like it's glasses, but I also think there's something with the tooth. Did you break, did you break a tooth? Um, I don't know if something happened where you're your tooth and your glasses kind of fell off and got broken. I don't know what that is with Spirit kind of showing me that, that whole area there. Okay? And sometimes these details come in as validations, as confirmations, as synchronicities for some of you. Okay? And if those details aren't yours, don't worry about it. Just leave them for the next person. Okay? So, um, these two are our only major arcana cards. We've got the goat, we've got the emperor. Now, when we say the goat, we do mean the greatest of all time. You're going to go off and do this on your own. You don't need anybody else. Sure, and maybe that's kind of, maybe that's, well, maybe there's somebody in this situation that does think they're better than everybody else. Okay, maybe that person's you, maybe not. Okay, please don't get offended. Um, we need to think about that. We need to stop. We need to pause, really, here. We need to figure out what exactly is going on. Is this the deal? Is this why you're upset? Are you upset because somebody is acting like they're better than everybody else? And it, just, it seems that there's a lot of that. And people probably think that about you. You think that about other people. And we just all need to sit down and listen to each other. Yeah. Because this really can go one of two ways horribly, incredibly wrong, or it can go up, it can ascend, it can transcend the situation into leadership and building commitment, the success, taking this success that we all want. This is the ideal world. Everybody's sitting equally around the table and everybody is getting their fair share and everybody is succeeding and prospering. Everybody feels good. It's a win, 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 win situation. It requires leadership, dedication, commitment to build, right? Fire to earth. Fire to earth. You're, you're trying to build something, okay? Now, um, Spirit's telling me a connection to Paris, France. I don't know what your connection is to Paris, France, but is, is there a, a vacation or a, a trip coming up or something to Europe? Um, Spirit's showing me uh, some boxes and then also like Eiffel Tower, like Paris, you know. So I don't know what the connection is there for you. Okay, it might be something that's coming up in the future for you. Uh, so we have our major arcana energies. We've got our fire. We've got, uh, we've got our water here. And I'm very happy to see this three of cups. Um, fire, we've got water, we've got air, we've got earth. A lot of earth too. So the fire really is something that is is going to be contained by the water energy and the earth. It's kind of like your anger here. Everybody's anger. The anger is going to be kind of washed away. The anger is going to be overtaken, overpowered by the water and the earth, right? By the, the feelings, the connection, the bond, the love between all of you. So there, this is an intimate group. So it's either something that you, you're united under a common purpose, right? The heart is pure. Everybody kind of wants the same thing. Everybody ultimately has the same desires here. And then, of course, the physical material success of this, well, that's enough to let bygones be bygones, right? Um, it's kind of like enemies can be friends when, it, when they're making money, you know? Um, but I feel that there's a common purpose here. And I think that's the water energy, especially this three of cups that we see over here. So the fire energy, this kind of anger, this clashing, especially this two of wands. This is everybody, uh, everybody feels like they are an independent force and they have to fight for what they want. And then everybody's just fighting, right? It's me against everybody else. And everybody else feels that way too. It's not a good, not a good mix. All right. So we got to get over this. And what gets us over that kind of 
energy is the water. The common connection as well as the success. Hey, we all love each other. We all want the same things. Let's figure this thing out. Let's put all this other stuff, you know, behind us. It doesn't matter. Let's sit down. Let's all listen to each other. Maybe this is really having a very kind of organized meeting where everybody gets the floor for a certain amount of time and can express themselves in any way they want. No one can interrupt. And you go around the room and you do that and then kind of figure out, okay, well, you know, let's focus on solutions here. First, I think we have to unwind from all the tension and then we can focus on solutions. Okay, everybody sitting down right now at the table is probably gonna to lead to a nine of swords. First, we have to unwind. And first, we need to perhaps um, remember that we all uh, need each other in this situation. So whatever this is, the cooperation is really something that's essential. Okay. And so the first step is realizing that, yes, we do need, we do need others here in this situation. Okay. Uh, spirits tell me that you recently completed some sort of training or certification in something, or you took, you did some kind of a class or something, you got this certificate or some sort of, I don't know if it's like on the job training, but I, I kind of see you like it's a short kind of training thing. And then you kind of got the piece of paper at the end. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Uh, we talked about the Five of Cups. The Nine, we don't really need to talk much about the Nine of Swords. We don't want the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is really everybody feeling attacked, everybody attacking others. It's really not, it's really not nice. Yeah. Um, you've got a lot of ambition. The, the devil energy right here in the center. You've got a lot of ambition in your life. You really know how to climb a mountain. Right. Um, but we need the team. This isn't a you, you, this isn't a solo climb, right? I, I don't think anybody really summits Everest by themselves. I, at least I don't I don't think it's a smart idea. Um, not that I'm an expert or anything, but I feel like you go with a team, and I feel like the team has to work together. You think of any kind of a team, right? I really enjoy the um, the the show. I I think it's called Seal Team or something like that. Um, and it's, it's essential that everybody works together, that everybody has a role and everybody is okay with their role. Not every role is the same. Not every role is equal, but there is a balance between everybody because everybody's doing what they're supposed to. Everybody's doing their job and it makes the whole thing function. And every job is equally as important, even though they're very different. Not everybody can be the head chef. Right? Not everybody can be the expediter. Not everybody can do the meat station. You know, everybody has some people are the prep. Some people are washing the, the utensils and the dishes and stuff from the pots and pans. And then other people are running food. Everybody has to work together. There's not one job that's more important than the others. And this is that feeling of importance. Yeah, that maybe everybody is feeling like they have the most important job. And it's creating this kind of tension, this conflict. Well, let's go the path of the serpent. Let's see, let's see what else is, is coming down the line here. And as we do this, I would like to ask for your subscription. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It is totally free. It, uh, it does not cost you anything. And it helps out the channel. I really do appreciate that. Uh, the three. The three of cups. The potential for us to really have a good time in this situation. If this is everybody sitting around the table cooperating, this is us all laughing and having a good meal and really feeling good. Now this thing is coming, it, it's become a celebration. Yeah. And it's because we're all being nourished by the same source. We all have the same desires in this. We all want to succeed in the same way. We all feel connected. Maybe this is a family thing. We all want the same things. We're all being nourished by the same source. And it's our job to make sure this water continues to flow. Everybody has an equal kind of importance, equal responsibility. And it's crucial that we, um, that we all cooperate and work together. Yeah. It can really be a celebration. 
And I think indeed this card is, um, it's your general energy. And I think you're beginning to feel that. And I think that this is the prospect to feel like this can be something that I, you go to work and you enjoy being there. Well, that is, that's a big win all by itself, right? That's a really big win. And uh, this, is, this is the potential. We have to go through this period of kind of the, the retrospection, right? We have to look back and we have to really be honest with what our role was in this dilemma, this conflict, this dispute. We have to realize what our role was and be able to let it go. Words were said, feelings were hurt, we took things personally. We have to let that be water under the bridge. Right? But it's okay for you to feel how you feel about this. Right? There's not there's it's okay for you to do that. Now, I'm getting a um a sense that there's an older male energy in your life. Is it dad or grandpa's past, right? Uh, I'm getting an H in their name, first or last name, maybe Henry, Hank, something like this, Harry. Um, I, I feel like that, I feel like that father energy, when they were alive, they were kind of the one that kept everybody together, right? It's almost, I feel like they kind of were reminding everybody that, hey, you're family, family sticks together, right? And I don't know if this is a family situation. I kind of think this may be like at work or something or like, you know, in the neighborhood. But it's still that same, like that, that father energy is coming through and saying, hey, you're all family. You know, that's what I'm, that's kind of what I'm hearing. You're all family. Um, I, I feel like the, that the, your father, well, maybe that's the glasses and the tooth thing. Maybe there, there was something, um, is that how they passed? There was something that affected the head? Uh, it feels like they were in an accident or something, yeah? That might be the energy that we're, that we're getting today. Um, but the fact that they're coming through is, is validating to me because it, it, it lets me know that, that they're okay and that they are still very much interested and concerned about your life and they want you to be happy. They want you to, they want you to feel this bliss. They want you to have occasions to celebrate. They want to see you uh, feeling good. Yeah. And so to me, that, that really is a validation here. And uh, they, they keep saying, uh, hey, you're all family. And I think that, that's something that they would say to you when you're fighting with your siblings or something, right? Hey, you're all family. Knock it off. Yeah. Um, yeah, and a very, very prominent, a very, um, well, kind of like that emperor, very, a very authoritative person, right? Very strong, very assertive, um, stern, but in a very loving and a very connected kind of way. Yeah. So we've got our retrospective anyway with the, with the Queen of Pentacles, because the Queen of Pentacles is looking at the past. You look at what happened, you learn from it. You see what you did, see what your role was, understand the situation, but let it go. Eventually, this has to turn now toward looking at the past. And if we think of this, it's in the position of the environment anyway. We're looking at the past and our feelings are hurt. I remember what you said to me last week, you know. Um, yeah, let's hash it out. Let's forget about it. Let it wash under the bridge. Because this card cannot stay looking at the past. It has to turn the other way and look to the future. At the very least, it has to go from looking at the past to now being in the present. Being in the present. Okay. And now I wonder if these cards here are kind of talking about you avoiding leadership roles. I kind of feel as if I feel as if you are the kind of the leader here or you have a very what you feel like is a very prominent and important role in this situation, but you don't want to be the leader because you know how it works with the leader. Everybody blames the leader, right? Everybody, um, the, the whole responsibility obviously comes on your shoulders to, to fix something like this. If something goes wrong, it's your fault, right? So I feel like you kind of, you shy away from leadership roles. You want to be, you want to be part of the group. You want everybody to kind of be equal here. But I wonder if there's a need for you to kind of step up and say, hey, Everybody, we're family, right? Let's get, let's fix it. 
Yeah. Because again, you are, this is your power card in action. You are the builder. You are the one that is committed to this. And this is, this is a worker bee. This isn't somebody that wants to be the queen bee, doesn't want to be the leader. Doesn't want to be the one in charge of everybody else. This is the one that just wants to go every day, same time, do the work. Committed, but focused and not standing out. This is one, this is one energy sitting around that table, right? And it could perhaps be through this kind of energy, this, through this commitment, that you do have to emerge as the leader in some way. You know, I, I don't know that we can kind of go into the background and just, just kind of, just back away and just say, oh, I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be the leader. I don't want that job. You know, I feel like you have to kind of, you have to take this on a little bit and get this fixed. Yeah. Because this is, this could really create something really, really profound in your life. Let's look at the mystery card though. Let's see what Bob Ross Tiny Bob Ross has for us today. Okay. Um, I would like to see, gosh, I don't know, uh, maybe some more, maybe some more earth energy. A nine or a ten of pentacles, a nine or a ten of cups, wheel of fortune would be really nice. I'm going to go with wheel of fortune. If you have a prediction, put it down in the comments. Oh, back to the five. We can't, why can't we let go of that? What did, what did they do? What did they say? What happened that is making us feel like, I don't want to have anything to do with those people. Yeah. There's the difficulty here, letting go of something. Because we took something very personally. Yeah. And we, there is this we have to let this go. We have to let that three of cups go so we can realize that two of cups behind us. We're focused. We're looking at what they did and what made us feel bad rather than turning around, just like we're talking about with the queen of pentacles, looking at the past, just staring at it, reliving it. Always just obsessing over what they did that, that we didn't like. Well, if that Queen of Pentacles can turn around, you can realize that Two of Cups, that love, that beauty, that connection, that joy, that bliss, that's right there. This feels like some kind of a business thing. It really does, it almost feels like, it almost feels like a, a restaurant or a kitchen or something where it's just like, if you all work together, this can be a really successful thing. Yeah. But we've got we've to stop looking at what happened that we didn't like of at how our feelings got hurt or whatever that was. Can I stop looking at that? Let that go. Let's think about right now, what can we do? How can we fix this? How can we build it? All right. And now we're going to do an extended reading. If you want to stick around for that, there's a link up here. There's a link at the end of the video and a link down in the video description. New readings for Taurus every Monday and Friday, 6 a.m. Chicago time. I am here every day. Come on back. See me tomorrow. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It is totally free. It does not cost you anything. And uh, leave a comment for me. Let me know where in the world you're watching from. I want you to know that you're the most important part of Dove and Serpent Tarot. I thank you and I love you. And we're all in this together.